We are also watching another big story right now. It has to do with House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. She is still, just a quick update, she's still a no on impeachment, but she is offering up a new and, quite honestly, a pretty brutal idea of what she would like to see happen to President Trump. Behind closed doors, according to Politico, the Speaker of the House told other Democratic leaders, quote, I don't want to see him impeached. I want to see him in prison. Politico citing multiple Democratic sources familiar with that meeting. So, are Pelosi and her top committee chairs on the same page here? Well, here is how Judiciary Chairman Jerry Nadler put it last night to CNN. Are you on the same page with the Speaker, Nancy Pelosi, when it comes to impeachment? As I said, we are launching an, uh, an inquiry now, and whether we'll launch an, uh, 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 an impeachment inquiry um, uh, it may come to that. Joining me right now, CNN senior congressional correspondent Manu Raju and CNN political director David Chalian. Manu, a lot of folks are noting that very pregnant pause from Chairman Nadler right there when Wolf asked him that question. But what are you hearing there today about Pelosi's call for prison time? Yeah, didn't say that he was on the same page as Nancy Pelosi. Also, when Wolf asked him directly, would you break with the, with the speaker and move forward with an impeachment inquiry, even if she weren't to support that, he didn't say that he would not break with her. Instead, they said this will be a caucus decision. She will have the largest single voice. Look, the reality is that on the House Judiciary Committee, there are a growing number of Democrats who want to launch an impeachment inquiry. Nadler himself has been sympathetic to those concerns and has, in fact, made the case to Pelosi directly on at least two occasions to say that this would strengthen their case in court. They should move forward in this regard. Pelosi has said no. So you're seeing that uh, division started, started play out a little bit more in public, even as they try to make the case that they are continuing their investigations. They want to continue to look into these matters uh, one by one. Pelosi has been, been very firm, saying that she is not going to be pressured by her caucus, by her chairman, to move off of this idea. She believes her strategy is working, which is fighting these issues one by one in court, continuing these investigations one by one in the committees, and holding off off on impeachment, which would ultimately, in her view, be fruitless because the Senate Republicans would not vote to convict the president or remove him from office. But you're seeing that tension play out within the House Democratic Caucus. The question is, how long can she hold that off, Kate? That's a, and that is a great question right now. Uh, David, I mean, she said, Nancy Pelosi has said publicly that she believes that the president's engaging in a cover-up. This, though, this comment from behind closed doors, this is a new step. The Speaker of the House says that the president should be in jail. Right. Let's not lose sight of just, I know it's like sometimes we are so accustomed to just how different this moment in time right, is. Right. Uh, but the Speaker of the House is calling for the imprisonment of the President of the United States. That obviously is going to shock anyone's ears, even in these shocking times. But what I think uh, is important to see is that Nancy Pelosi is employing here a tactic, right? What is happening is because she wants to hold the line on impeachment, she's amping up her rhetoric sort of week by week to give the liberal, more progressive folks, uh, some of the folks Manu was just talking about on the Judiciary Committee, something to hang on to that they've got a leader who feels really impassioned about taking on this president in really aggressive ways, just not with impeachment. So, so we've seen her, you know, say the cover-up language or talk about how she thinks he has broken laws or now saying he should be in, in prison. And, and this is her way of sort of joining their march without actually leading them right now to where they want to go because she thinks it's a political mistake to do so. It's a, it's a great point. We also have this just in. I don't know if, if you guys have had a chance to see this. President Trump, he did an interview with Fox News just before he went to the D-Day ceremonies in um, Normandy, France. Uh, the network just released some of the interview and the president at one point takes on special counsel Bob Mueller. Let's listen to it. Do you mind if he testifies still before you said he didn't care? I, Mueller I, I, testifies. Let me, let me tell you. He made such a fool out of himself the last time she, because what people don't report is the letter he had to do to straighten out his testimony, because his testimony was wrong. But Nancy Pelosi, I call her nervous Nancy, Nancy Pelosi doesn't talk about it. Nancy Pelosi's a disaster, okay, she's a disaster. And let her do what she wants. You know what? I think they're in big trouble. So, David, that's, it sounds to me like his heart is hit against Mueller, calling him a fool, but do you know, and, and 
also, Manu, you clue me in as well. Do you know what he's talking about when he says that Mueller had to correct his testimony? I, I don't think we are totally clear, and I, I would like to see the whole uh, conversation, but I, I think it refers to maybe that joint statement that was put out between the special counsel and the attorney general to try to get them on the same page, if you recall, the day that uh, Mueller gave his press conference last week. But I, I really think that that is beside the point. I mean, that's what yeah. Donald Trump would like to focus on. Uh, what he doesn't want to focus on is, I, I think Donald Trump may be the only person that thinks Mueller made a fool of himself. Uh, Mueller uh, went out there to state exactly what he had written in his report after an exhaustive two-year investigation, which is that if he had, if he could have clearly said that the president was exonerated of obstruction of justice, he would have done so, but he wasn't able to do that. Yeah, and I'm sure this does a lot to change the opinion of Democrats in the House who think that <laughs> he's obstructing and covering up and that they should, that they're going to continue investigating.